hello beautiful people welcome back to our channel how are you all doing hope you are doing great god bless you for stopping by guys it has become obvious that nigeria is a fair state if those of us using the word becoming a fair state they are really making a mistake because every attribute of a fair state places this is eight years now or seven years counting. Why will a country like this things are going upward this way and some people are still thinking that the country will be you know fine again. It's gonna be mended, it's gonna be um something good is gonna come out of it again. Do you know that these so called politicians have decided to, you know, make the country the way it is. We the, we we it this way. Everywhere, but when you talk about Boko Haram in the north, it's politicians sponsoring it. When you talk about hey. banditry, um, herdsmen and all the rest of them, billions of politicians are ever. buying the hey. things they are using to move around to buy people all over the world. You come to middle beds. Look at the whole thing they did in middle beds. Who gave them the things they are using, the machine and the granite they are using to go house to house and do all the things they did and continue to do today. You cannot tell me that a cattle rearer will have money to buy those things Boy, they that have on their neck, going about taking people's life and you know doing all manner of things they are doing you can't tell me that politicians are sponsoring them for the reason that's known to them okay they have decided to face the southern side of the country they did the one they did in Ogun State and everywhere was, you know, there was a lot of uh, okay and all the rest of them. They now shifted their attention to Southeast. Politicians there has on a light they cannot put off in Southeast as we speak. The video you are watching in the background is Ikenga Gochinian, the CUPP spokesperson. That is PDP presidential aspirant of a federal house of representatives. This is a man that, if you scroll down on my channel here, you will see the video. I brought it to all of us to see and know what is happening. This man came out to say that Nandi Kalu should be released. Because Boy, very few of them has, still has a conscience in them. Very few of them know what is happening. And those of them, they are the ones that are coming out now to say, this man should be released because the whole Boko Haram captured. As we speak two days ago, there was a news. There was a news in uh, Vanguard and every uh, 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 station carried you that army has decided to release 613 Boko Haram that they have finished their training and all the rest of them. They, they can be reunited in the society and all the rest of them. What has Nnamdi Kalu done that they hold, they held him in solitary confinement for this is getting to two years now. Just like I said before in the previous video, I do not blame the people that is holding him. I blame the Igbo money mongers that love money more than their life and their peace that sold this man. That is that. This man came out and said, This is not what it is visited. That this man needs to be released. On the ground of his head, he's deteriorating every day. But prior be, uh, to this time, there has been an existing issue between him and Opus or Demma, the Supreme Court of Imo State, that the, the, the Supreme Court governor, that the, the, the Supreme Court is held in Imo State, who came forth in the election and eventually the Supreme Court, you know, guys, 
this man came and exposed Hope Uzodema and its allies that they went and registered names of people other countries they don't even know. How did they hack into the account of uh, 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 INEC? INEC has never took that seriously today. They are still going back and forth. They have not come out to make a specific statement. A resounding statement over this matter and said they must investigate it. That matter has died as we speak. It is just a forgotten issue as we speak. He said they are not going to agree that they must come out to bring out the people that hack into INEC website to register names of other countries and age and uh, and all the rest of things he said. Since that time, Hope Uzodema and all his political talks have been, you know, chasing this man around. I mean, he can't go go chinyan. And then just yesterday, he made the statement about Nam de Kalo. Guys, that is what you are seeing in his house now. This thing we are watching is CUPP coalition chairman, that is PDP House of Rep candidates of Imo states. Look at everywhere is on a blaze. You can see it, you can watch it with your eyes. Number one, people can no longer speak in the country. No freedom of speech, no freedom of association. That is what hope was on the man want. I don't I do not blame hope was on the man. I also blame emo people because they knew the antecedent of hope was on the man. When they saw what is happened, that was one we must say people would have risen up to say we say no. If they all kept quiet. Now he has closed their mouth, they cannot speak. If you speak, this thing they are doing to you can't go continue is what they will do to the person. Political leaders. Uh, 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 religious leaders, uh, villagers, everybody is on a mood watching purpose of the man. And this is the hand he will use and, and go the second time. You people gonna do nothing. Please watch it. Watch what is happening. And decide if you want this one Nigeria or you want Biafra. Everybody need to rise up that the country will be divided. Make everybody go in Papa Hand. Watch the video. Thank you so much. Please, as you watch, you never just give me that thumbs up. Give me just like. It doesn't cost any money. So that YouTube can, you know, recommend the video to other people to watch. I just need that like, thumbs up, whichever one you choose to call it. God bless you for watching. Thank you for sharing as well. Thank you for giving me the like. Watch the video. Let us know in the comment section. I'll see you again in the next one. Bye for now. My colleague to a nation, my sister, I'm going to go to the job. As you can see, this was what hoodlums who just attacked the residents of Ikenga Imo, Virginia. The PDP, the PDP has a fresh candidate for Hidato North and South. As you can see, all the vehicles of Ikengimu Gochini that have been vandalized by these hoodlums. It's actually quite unfortunate that we lost some colleagues in this fight. But to the glory of God, I was able to survive. Please. We are actually inviting the international community to please come to the rescue of Ikengimu Gochini. As he stands now, we don't know his whereabouts. As he stands now, as we can see, billions of naira, as you can see, the buildings are gradually going down. Please. Why this 14th January again this year? It's also quite unfortunate. Please. I, I actually call on the international community to come on the rescue of Ikenga Imogotinere. This young man has done absolutely nothing. Oh, yeah, Ungo. For that, uh, it's quite We lost this young man. Discuss. Let's yeah, rest in peace.
What is happening? This boss in there, buddy. Kill one, oh, yeah. Hey. Okay, Mecca. This boss in there, but at least never book. Kill your one, oh, yeah. This boss in there, but never book. Kill your one, oh, yeah. I will get pushed with a head. Can't ever. This boy. Yeah, that made you say. Boy, that made you win. The quick can get him a compound everywhere where I go. The whole compound of where I go. Hey! She naked man, I'm a better. No, this guy. A billion of an hour like he ever. Hey! I put this back. Oh, wow.